delicious yummy loaves already. Alright, so I'm about to head out to the house to get some stuff to make chicken soup with. Hey guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. Today, um, we all had a really rough start. Josiah is home from work today because he's not feeling super great. So we're all like on a like uphill battle it feels like sometimes. We're like we're getting really we get really like we get better and then we don't. And we get better and then I'm just really trying to focus on our immune systems, so eating healthy, eating a lot of immune boosting foods. So, which actually brings me to, I'm hoping to run to the store today and I'm gonna make some more chicken noodle soup. Um, chicken broth is always a real, really good, like, it's really good for being sick, so. Um, and then I'm gonna bake bread here, just a little bit, um, because the bread dough has been sitting in the fridge overnight and we need bread, so I'm gonna go ahead and bake it today vacuum I'm I'm so determined to vacuum the rest of our floors today I really hope it happens um, so yeah but anyway and then uh, my mother-in-law is gonna hopefully take at least Judah today um, and so yeah anyway today is just kind of a not sure what's gonna happen kind of a day I'm hoping certain things happen and all that jazz um, but yeah that's kind of in the what I'm thinking. Um, I would like to change some sheets too on my our bed and then my son's bed. Um, and then I guess I vacuum and then maybe tidy up the bathrooms. The bathrooms are fairly clean but they need a little sprucing. And then make chicken noodle soup hopefully. <clears throat> I also want to try and make marshmallows today. Homemade marshmallows without corn syrup because we all know corn syrup is bad for us, right? Um, so anyway, that's kind of what my plan is, so I'll just take you throughout the day like I always do. So I'm actually dressed. I'm not in sweats. I actually have jeans on and I can't see, but I actually am dressed. Which I don't usually put jeans on because I always want to work out, but I never get around to it because I have children. But anyway, today I want to work out, but I'll just take the jeans off if I have to. <laughs> I'd rather be dressed and feel ready for the day than feel like I'm lounging around and feel very unready for the day. But anyway. Alright, so after your bulk last bulk rise is done and it's doubled in size, you're gonna flour uh, a surface that you want to put your dough on and then you're going to take your dough and put it on the floured surface. Um, make sure you use wet hands, it's just easier to handle dough when your hands are wet. And then you're just going to scrape the dough onto this floured surface. And after that you're going to take the dough and divide it in half. You can use a dough scraper or whatever you have on hand. Then you're going to do the molding process or the process of shaping the dough. Um, you're going to take one of the pieces of dough and you're going to stretch it out into a somewhat of a rectangle, roll it up, and then roll it up again. And then you're going to make circular motions of pulling the dough towards you so that it's tight. Um, this just helps shape the dough. Um, and then after that, you're gonna make sure to just let both all the dough let it rest for 20 minutes and then you're going to repeat the process after that so it's been 20 minutes and I'm just going to repeat the process of shaping the dough I'm gonna take it and mold it or shape it into somewhat of a rectangle roll it up on one side and then once that has been rolled up roll it up on the other side again and then I'm going to make circular motions just like I did before to make it tight and very round. You're just pulling it towards yourself. It's just giving it a shape and tightening the dough so that it stays nice and round. And you're going to dust uh, your proofing bowls with flour just so that it stays, keeps the dough from sticking. And then you're going to um, 
just make sure they're in there really well so put the dough in the baskets and then you're going to you can also use a bowl and a cloth that's fine too um, then you're going to flour the tops of the dough just to keep it from sticking to whatever you lay on top of the bowls and I just did plastic wrap stuck them in the fridge and left them overnight and the next morning they are doubled in size and ready to bake so take one out and leave the other well in the fridge while you bake one um, and then you're going to preheat your Dutch oven um, in the oven on bake in 450 degrees and then while that's heating you can start scoring your dough uh, I just put my dough onto a parchment paper flour it and then flour the parchment paper then put your dough on top and then I start scoring it sometimes you can do fun designs like I'm doing here or you can just do a cross in the middle like a lot of people do whatever you want to do um, but just score it so that it has room to crack so that it doesn't crack in weird and you know weird <laughs> I don't know <laughs> weird shapes or whatever then you're going to take the Dutch oven out of the preheated oven and you're going to take the lid off and plop your dough in the Dutch oven. Then you're going to put the lid back on and plop the Dutch oven in there for 25 minutes on 450 degrees. Um, and then after 25 minutes you're going to take the lid off and keep it in there for another 10 minutes. Then your bread will be done. Delicious yummy loaves already. It turned out very nice. I've got chicken in a pot, 
boiling, so it'll cook for probably a good half hour to an hour, probably an hour. After that, I will add vegetables. I'm gonna peel and chop these really quick and chop the onion, that way it's done and I don't have to eat on it. I'm gonna do that and then put it in a bowl, set it aside, and wait for the chicken to finish boiling, and then that will have, then I'll add some spices to the broth after the chicken stuff. and onions are cut and so I'm just waiting for the chicken to be done and then I bought these for their egg pasta and soup because we like chicken noodle soup the best not just chicken soup we're gonna have homemade sourdough bread too and the spices I like to use are like sage black pepper wow my thyme basil tamaric well not tamaric Majorum, I don't, never can pronounce that correctly. Oregano and rosemary. Oh, and then also some garlic too. Alright, so I put the vegetables and the herbs in the pot after I took out this chicken. Let it cool for a bit and now I'm peeling off meat. And then I'll chop it up, put it back in there. <clears throat> Let it cook for like half an hour. So, oh, and then I'll also add the pasta. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up this chicken. in there and the chicken noodles have to cook a bit longer obviously they're hard stuff looks so good homemade chicken noodles all right guys so made the soup I got my vacuuming done which woohoo right I've been trying to get that done for days <laughs> It's just been one thing after another this week, it seems like, but mostly because we've been sick. If, uh, you know, things were, if we were fully well and everything, it would be a lot easier, but oh well. Anyway, and I've got a little man over here. It's the only way I get anything done is by carrying him when he's cranky. <coughs> okay. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and close out the vlog today. I know it wasn't super crazy or, or I guess, super fantastic vlog. vlog. Um... <clears throat> But there was just, but um, <clears throat> there just wasn't a whole lot going on. Um, besides Josiah staying home from work because he wasn't feeling well. And um, so yeah, anyway. And then the rest of us all still trying to get up to 100%. And she is doing much better now. And she's almost completely herself. So is he, they still have a little cough going on, but we're doing great. So hopefully by this weekend, they'll be fine. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, um, and I will see you guys in the next one tomorrow. So see you guys. Bye. Say bye.